Hi guys, welcome to Everyday Tech. Today we're just going to look at the Amazon Echo second generation and the Echo Dot. Uh, just talk about what they can do and the differences. Um, I use these personally and I'll tell you what I use them for. Thank you. So I use the uh, Amazon series smart home products. So I've got a Echo Dot and a second generation uh, Echo normal speaker. I actually have two of these. Um, when I made my decision, again, I went onto YouTube, looked at the different reviews and came to the decision that this was the one ideal for me. Uh, I have had a little experience with the Google Home uh, speaker, um, but Alexa was the one for me. I, like I say, I have had no issues with these, but I will say from the start, if you want a smart speaker that can answer all of your questions, Google's probably gonna be the better way. Um, it's much smarter, obviously, You've got Google uh, at your call there. When you say, Alexa, can you tell me what blah, 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 blah is? And she just go, hmm, I don't know that one. And you end up searching Google for it anyway. And if you've got an Android phone, you'll have Google Assist on there so you can just ask her anyway. But for smart home devices, Alexa is absolutely fantastic for me. These two products. Um, again, they do the exact same thing. The only real difference between them is that this one gives off much better sound. So when you're looking at this, you're thinking, what are my uses? And I'll tell you what I use them for. So before we get into all of that, I'll just roughly go through with you the features of the Amazon uh, Echo Alexa, speakers so I've just got the box here so it says here it's designed around your voice so Echo connects to Alexa a cloud-based voice service to play music make calls send and receive messages read the news check sports scores control smart home devices and more just ask so yes it does do all of those things but with send and receive calls it can only do that if you are sending a call to somebody else who has got another Echo device. Without that, it actually doesn't do that. Um, so you have to make sure that other person has uh, an Echo speaker in their home. It does read the news. It can give you your flash briefing. In. It doesn't read it in her voice. Uh, it reads it in, so if I get the flash briefing, it can read me the BBC uh, news and it comes from the, the BBC presenter which is actually really nice I do like that feature um, yeah you can check the sports scores smart home devices it's absolutely fantastic um, yeah it's it's really good now obviously it learns to recognize your voice so as you're speaking it records everything and you know this because when you go into the app onto the phone it can, it can listen to everything that you're, you're, you're telling it. And it can actually, obviously, recognize your voice the more you talk to it. It can recognize other people's voices as well, but it does it seems to recognize mine more than my wife's. But that's usually because when my wife talks to Alexa, she's like, Alexa, turn the bloody lights on. And I'm like, hey, just say, Alexa, turn the lights on. Or Alexa, lights on. Or Alexa, kitchen lights off. She does not like Alexa. She, uh, and I think this is true for a lot of the ladies out there. I don't know if you're just threatened by another female presence in the house. To me, it's just another smart home, but I do refer to it as her, um, which I suppose gives it a bit more humanity. But anyway, um, voice controlled music throughout your home. Just ask for songs, artists, and genres from your favorite music service. With multi-room music, you can play music on your Echo device in different rooms. And that is true, and I do do that. Like I say, I have three of these devices, and I set up a group on the uh, Alexa app 
the Amazon Echo app or whatever you call it. And I set up a group called Downstairs so all of my devices are connected. So when I say, Alexa, play my cheese playlist downstairs, it plays through all of the speakers simultaneously. There is no lag or delay, it is absolutely fantastic. Again, you are not gonna get great sound out of these, you do out of these, they're absolutely fantastic. I think when they were first released, a lot of people had issues with it not, there not being enough bass, but I think they released an update which rectified that. I think I got, which was quite early on, I got this speaker last November, um, I think after that release, I think, and I have no issues with it whatsoever. Um, so yeah, make hand-free calls. Call or message your closest family and friends with an Echo device or the Alexa app. Also, connect to all the rooms in your home uh, with just your voice. Yes, again, like I've said, you can call other people as long as they have an Echo device. You can have them around the house in different rooms and you can just say, Alexa, drop in on Dad. And it will call whatever Echo device that you have named Dad. You know, this one is out of my kitchen. So I can say, Alexa, drop in on the kitchen and I can call whoever's in the kitchen. For the size of my house, it's not completely necessary. There's just me and my wife and the cats and if my cats can use it, I will be surprised. Um, rich, crisp, room filling sound. Uh, powerful speakers fill the room with immersive 360 omnidirectional audio delivering crisp vocals and dynamic bass response. Yep, it's all true. It gives great sound. You know, don't expect it to be of the same quality as a, a B&O speaker, blah, 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 because you are not paying three, four hundred pounds, but you get excellent sound for what you're paying for such a small speaker. It is truly excellent. Um, second generation far field voice recognition with seven microphone, Beam forming technology and noise cancellation, Echo hears you from any direction, even while music is playing. That is quite true. Um, I can have my music on quite loud uh, if I've got a group of people around and we're in different rooms. And I can, as long as it's not stupidly loud and not crazy, I can still say in a relatively calm voice if I'm here and just say, Alexa, volume down and the volume will go down. Or just say, Alexa, stop, and she'll stop all the devices. Again, if it is a bit louder, you may just have to say, Alexa, stop. But it's excellent for, for its use. Voice control your smart home. This is what I bought it for. So again, I have, a, uh, I have some smart home cameras around the house. I bought them on the understanding that they would be able to be controlled by Alexa, but they're not at the moment. There is an app out there outside of Europe which allows Alexa to control the cameras, but not available in the UK yet. I think it is available in the US. Um, but I am going to do a review of those cameras uh, probably next week, so stick with me. Um, the other thing that I have is I have the Nest thermostat. Um, it's, it's a really great piece of kit. I fitted it myself. I do recommend you get somebody else to do it if you don't feel comfortable, but it is, it is a great device. Um, again, I can just talk to the speaker and just say, Alexa, what's the temperature in the living room? Because my less thermostat is in the living room and it, it'll just say, oh, the living room is at 23 degrees. Fantastic. But in winter, when it, it, you know, it's on, I can just say, Alexa, turn the heating up and she'll just bump it up a degree or two. Or you can just say, Alexa, turn the heating up to 25 and she'll just boost the heat in. It's great like that. Um, the other thing that I have got is I have got some smart bulbs. Um, so I have got the IKEA Tradfi lighting set, which for me works fine. I've had a few issues here and there with it losing connection. I have to reset the, reset the hob and occasionally when you turn a light off, it'll leave one on because I have the GU10 bulbs in the kitchen. Um, what I will do is I'll also talk about those in another review. Um, but again, way, 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 way cheaper than the Philips Hue lighting system. 
I think two of their GU10 bulbs were £50, and I think I paid £7 for a bulb from Ikea. So I, I don't know about you, but I can't justify doing that. And it may be great if the Philips Hue bulbs can change colour, but who really wants a purple kitchen? Who wants a bright pink kitchen? I know, put your hand down, there are several of you out there that will, but I don't. I need just a normal, bright, natural light, or as close to natural light as possible, and they do the trick for a fraction of the price. But to control them from the smart home speaker is fantastic. Uh, I, uh, I have all my kitchen lights, including the cabinet lights. Um, I have a couple of lamps. Uh, one of my lamps is also set up with the... Uh, a smart plug um, and I also have put the, the the big lights so to speak uh, in the in the lounge so when I get in from uh, home if it's dark the echo dot in the hallway I just say Alexa I'm home and she puts on the kitchen lights the lamps anything you've predetermined for that command to do it's, it's amazing, especially if you're on your own or you just don't like walking through your house when you've got in, when it's dark and it's cold. You just say, you, you, it can be any command. It can be Alexa, all lights on. It can be any command. Mine is Alexa, I'm home. But equally, when I go to bed, um, I'm ready to go. My wife's walking up the stairs. You know, we right, are the cats in? Yes, are they separated? Uh, maybe, I don't know, you're walking around everything's done and I just say Alexa lights off and in that command I'll make sure that every single bulb that I have listed uh, is in the app and it will turn to off whether it's on or not it will turn everything off um, always getting smarter Alexa updates through the cloud automatically and is continually learning adding new features and skills just ask Alexa to set alarms and timers, check your calendar, to do or shopping lists and more. Yeah, it has all of those features. Whether you use them or not is up to you. I sometimes do use the shopping list feature, especially if you can't be bothered to get up and just write a new shopping list. So I'll just say, Alexa, add vegetables to my shopping list and she'll add vegetables to my shopping list and then you can just go into the app on your phone, look under lists and it'll list them there. Um, but the reason that they've actually released this is because they actually want you to shop on this device, not use it to make a list to go shopping later. They want you to shop with this device. So you can just say, Alexa, order toilet roll. You may have seen the advert. And she'll go, oh, I have found so-and-so and blah, blah, blah. But I don't like that. Um, Quite often, it's cheaper elsewhere, and you know if you've let it get to that point, then you're going to need them there and then. You know, only if you've got a bit more money than sense, he's going to order everything off Amazon. But saying that, there is a uh, subscribe and save service that they do, which is really handy. Um, yeah, it's 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 a really good piece of kit. The choice of whether to get one or the other, get both. Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna invest in a smart home speaker, get both. Put one in your hallway. Put one in your lounge. You know, there's no point investing in just this speaker and not getting at least one smart bulb or two for a lamp here and there. But if you listen to a lot of music, and I do, then definitely get this one. But I don't want this in the hallway. I have this in a little adapter on the wall. I'll go through that in another video. Um, yeah, so just remember, think about what you want. Research it thoroughly. Don't just watch my video, watch other videos. There are lots of people that have had lots of devices um, and they will all have different opinions. These are just my two cents on the matter. Um, but like I say, you can't go wrong. Either one, I would recommend both. So, thank you very much. Check out my other videos at the end. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe and I shall see you soon. Bye.